You know, over the weekend in our sermon, we talked about God being the renewer and the replenisher of our soul. And we specifically uh, talked about a few things, but one of those things we talked about was when we're tired and we're weary and we're exhausted. And I want to focus in on that this week, and I want to get started off today by just asking you the question, what do you do when you're feeling weary? Are you ready to just give up and throw in the towel? Well, if you are, hold off for just a moment. I got something I want to share with you today that hopefully will be an encouragement to you. Well, welcome back. This is Greater Devotion, and I'm Pastor Brad. And today we are talking about uh, weariness. And, you know, oftentimes in our faith and our walk with the Lord, we just get weary, we get burned out, we get tired. And oftentimes those things center around the good things that we should be doing, the things that God has called us into, the ministries that we're a part of, uh, the, the studies and the people that we're invested into. And so, you know, those are the areas sometimes we just get tired of and we feel like we just can't keep putting the kind of energy that, that is required for those things into those things. Well, today I want you to consider that, uh, you know, we shouldn't give up, we shouldn't grow weary of those things, and that we should reinvest ourselves into those things with the help of the Lord, of course, who does give us energy and replenishment for it, but that we shouldn't give up. And, and there's a reason why we shouldn't give up, and that's what I want to cover today. And so if you would jump in with me to the book of Galatians, uh, chapter 6, verse 9, this is what the Apostle Paul encourages us with. He says, and let us not grow weary of doing good, for in due season we will reap if we do not give up. And here's what Paul is telling us. Look, don't give up now, because if we give up now, we're giving up early. We're giving up maybe in the midst of the most difficult part of the journey of what we're invested into or what we're doing. But we'd be giving up before we really saw the fruit come from the labor that we've invested. And Paul is encouraging us to stick it out because that labor, that, that fruit of that labor is coming. And you want to be there to be able to receive that and to see it and to participate in the joy of seeing that thing come to pass. And, you know, honestly, um, I think many of us, when we give up, we're giving up at the wrong moment because we're giving up out of the exhaustion, out of the tiredness and out of those things. But we're forgetting that the exhaustion and the tiredness and all those things are worth it because we're pouring into the kingdom of God and ultimately we're gonna see God's uh, hand in those things. And so, you know, whether that be we invested into an individual and sometimes it's draining to deal with people, but we need to be able to stick it out to see how God is gonna bring what we've been doing uh, to, to fruition in their lives. And let me tell you something, when you see the fruit of the labor, it gives you more energy to do the labor. And I'm afraid that a part of the reason why we feel tired and worn out and weary is because we don't stick it out enough to really uh, enjoy the uh, how that comes to pass in the end. And so I think if we really were in a position where we stopped letting go and just asking for God to give us the energy in the meantime, and we start living from fruit to fruit instead of tiredness to tiredness, I think that we would have the energy and the stamina to continue in doing the work that the Lord has called us to do. Let me tell you something, when things are, when you're seeing how God is using you, that is just energy filling uh, that comes. And so I want to share with you that today because I want you to not give up. Don't give in to the temptation. The enemy wants to talk you away from that thing that you're doing for the Lord. But I want you to just consider, if I stick this out, I'm going to see how God has used me and it's going to replenish my soul in a way that I can't otherwise see replenished. On that good word, let's close with prayer. Lord, we thank you for today. We thank you, Lord, that you do replenish. And right now, in the midst of uh, the difficulty that people might be facing as they're tuning in even today, I pray, Lord, that you would give them some energy uh, and a new focus uh, in what it is that they're doing, that they might not give up so that they can see the fruit of the labor that they've been putting out. Lord, I just thank you uh, for what you're doing in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, thanks again for watching. Go ahead and click the like and share button. We do appreciate when you do. It helps us get the word out there. Uh, until we see each other again, remember to show somebody a little bit of kindness, love, and respect, even today. We'll talk to you soon. Goodbye.